I'm Ron Johnson, and welcome to Actuarial Science with Ron Johnson. Now, we'd like to start by introducing actuarial science to you. Actuarial science is a discipline that applies mathematical and statistical methods to assess risk in the insurance and finance industries. Actuaries, like me, are professionals who are qualified in this field through education and experience. In many countries, actuaries must demonstrate their competence by passing a series of rigorous professional examinations. Let's take a look into it. Where to begin? In high school, it's recommended that you follow a college prep curriculum of high school classes. Take math classes each year, such as AP, Stats, and Calculus. Um, enroll in computer science courses to develop computer skills for college. Um, go on to college and take courses such as Finance, Micro slash Macroeconomics, three semesters of Calculus, one semester of line Linear Algebra, two semesters of Calculus-based Probability and Stats, Computer Science, Communication Courses, and Liberal Arts. These are schools that offer actuarial science programs in Illinois. Actuarial science became a formal mathematical discipline in the late 17th century, with the increased demand for long-term insurance coverages such as burial, life insurance, and annuities. These long-term coverages required that money be set aside to pay for these future benefits. Actuarial science today consists mostly of pensions and other insurance like car and life. Actuary science is the number one job in 2013. It's non-competitive and you have the potential to earn a salary from $150,000 to $250,000 a year. For an example, an actuary may work as a consultant designing pension plans for a company's employees. To do so, the actuary may have to figure out the chances of a particular 50-year-old man living to be 89 years old. The actuary then assigns the person's pension using statistics that are exponential in nature and that's where logarithms enter. So this is your problem. Yeah. LOL, JK. That would be a problem that an actuary scientist would actually have to solve. Here's our problem. Please note the restriction X has to be greater than 2. Please pause the video to work on the problem. Alright, so to solve the problem, you're going to use this equation, log b of a plus log b of c equals log b of ac. And so you rewrite the equation so it becomes log x plus 4 times x minus 2, which equals 1. And then you're going to rewrite the equation using this equation, which we learned a long time ago in class. It becomes 7 to the first power equals x plus 4 times x minus 2. And then you're going to simplify that, so 7 to the first power is just 7. And you're going to FOIL out the x plus 4 times x minus 2. So it becomes 7 equals x squared minus 2x plus 4x minus 8. And then you're going to simplify that and subtract 7 to the right side. So it becomes 0 equals x squared plus 2x minus 15. From there, you can factor and you get x minus 3 and x plus 5. However, which becomes x equals 3 and negative 5. However, negative 5 is smaller than 2, and in the beginning, our equation said there was a restriction that x had to be greater than 2, so your only answer is x equals 3. <laughs> Thank you. This has been Actuarial Science with me, Ron Johnson. <laughs>